Our attention is drawn here by this photo sent to an eyewitness portal by Ahmed Abdullahi, showing the infrastructural decay at the government college Kefi, Nasarawa State. The premium college was established over 60 years ago, and it is one of the largest in the defunct northern Nigeria, sitting atop a huge landmass. The college was funded by the northern government before the creation of Benue and Plateau states and has produced prominent Nigerians, including the late President Musa Iardua, the Minister for Information, Lai Mohammed, and his sports counterpart, Solomon Dalong, to mention but a few. At present, the college has been funded by the Nasarawa state government and appears to now live on its past glory. Our visit here reveals the extent of neglect the school appears to have suffered as structures built during the colonial era have been left abandoned. This place served as a dining hall, which was last used over 20 years ago. Today it's more for dump site and toilet for some people. However, the school principal says plans are on the way to renovate the place. It was a dining hall. It had been abandoned by now for more than 10 years because of uh, the nature of uh, the way it is, it is and the new, new one has been built. So because it was built, this one is abandoned. Since the abandonment of that dining hall, action has since shifted to this hall, which is in no way better than the abandoned site. Here is Adeja House, one of the hostels burned by students about 20 years ago. An old student gives an account of the incident and calls on his fellow old students to collaborate with the state government to restore the lost glory of the school. We call on the old boys to, as a matter of urgency, get themselves together as classmates, as individuals, whatever it is, to be able to come back and see what they can do to the college. In the course of our visit here, we met with the state government team led by the Commissioner for Education on the familiarization tour. She confirms that the governor has taken note of the condition of the school and has declared a state of emergency in the education sector. We are repositioning education and definitely infrastructural development is one of those basic things that we are going to do in the educational sector. Prior to this fact-finding mission, the state governor had visited, inspiring hopes that the school will feel its intervention. I think the people of Nassau State we we'll see gradual and consistent uh, renovation of schools uh, so that our children uh, would be able to have conducive environment to be able to pursue the academic life. As it stands, the intervention is yet to come. And the question is, should they continue to be expectant or wait for another Moses?